Pennsylvania at the largest Celtic festival held in North America. I've thrown heavy objects, and now I might throw up while attempting to speed eat a pound of haggis. It looks delicious. like a monkey brain. I grew up with it. It's uh, like, I guess, scrapple to the Pennsylvania Dutch. I don't chow it down. You don't? No. I enjoy it for other people, but for me, haggis is pate. I mean, that's a civilized thing to do, and it also assures me of finishing at least setting a lap. See, now you've just said the magic word, civilization. And the Scots are civilization! All right. Well, they sure know how to make an entrance. That's the haggis. Oh, my God. Do we have a spoon or anything? I can't believe I've gotten myself into this. This smells terrible. One, two, three. Oh, God. Oh, this is worse than I thought. Big surprise. All I could taste was the, uh, the death. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with you. Watching him scarf down my leftovers reminds me that fun in Pennsylvania doesn't have to be pretty. The hard knocks of local industries combined with time-honored traditions has created unique events that anyone is welcome to try. As long as you've got... Pardon me for this one. The guts. You're part of the Brotherhood, even if you didn't. We fit. built the Brotherhood based on you eating my haggis. <laughs> oh. Pennsylvania is all about sports. It's all about the Brotherhood, and Pittsburgh is no exception. People want something to cheer for, a winner. But there's more to this town.